Let me get this straight. You're a military applicant who is in special forces and you're only 25 years old. How did you get into Warden? Good question. It's time to do my daily morning workout. I have to work out every morning or I just feel off all day. And it's nothing crazy. It's 95% of the time it's 15 to 30 minutes of hit. And then every other day I'll throw on 15 to 20 minutes of abs. So it's nothing crazy, but if I don't do it, I just, I almost never have a good day. Today's workout, I'm gonna stand right over there and do 100 burpees. Last time I did this, it took me a little over eight minutes to do the 100 burpees, but it's been raining the last few days, so I don't know if you can see, but the ground is really wet and soggy, so we'll see how it goes. Good news, beat the record, sub eight, let's go. Today is also one of those every other day ab days, so let's get it. no matter how fit you are, how strong you are, burpees are always tough, always a great workout. It's time to get ready for the day, time to get ready for my internship. <laughs> Thanks buddy, thank you. All right, it's 4 p.m. Just finished up with internship stuff for the day, but gotta take this little guy to the park, then I'll be working on some life skills for soldiers. Boy. So fortunately we've got beautiful weather today, which we haven't had in a while, and we've got good lighting. So uh, me and my roommate Garrett actually, he's uh, on the Life Skills for Soldiers team, he's one of our brand ambassadors. We, we're gonna do something we've been meaning to do for a while, which is record kind of a sample class. So if somebody wants to go and teach a Life Skills for Soldiers class, they can watch this video before, and you know, just have it a little bit of an easier time with it. If you don't already know what Life Skills for Soldiers is, it's our nonprofit that helps military leaders teach their soldiers life skills, like how to budget, how to invest, all that kind of stuff. I'll put the link below if you're interested, and uh, yeah, check it out. It's the end of the day, all done with internship stuff, working out, Life Skills for Soldiers, Let's talk about business school. After I posted my reaction video, I got a bunch of messages and DMs that basically were like, how did you do it? Most of them went along the lines of, you're a military applicant who's not special forces. Like, how is that possible? How did you get in? While there are definitely several special forces guys in business school and in this incoming class for Wharton and all that, and deservedly so, it's not all special forces, it's not even close. Just like Wharton and every business school doesn't just want people from the top few banks or the top few consulting companies or the top few tech companies, they also don't only want special forces. What they want is a well-balanced class. They want people from a broad range of experiences and, and who have a broad range of perspectives to build that chemistry of the class. So in class discussions, you have people from all different backgrounds weighing in. In social life, you're able to pick the brain of somebody who you know did something completely different from you. If all the classes were just filled with special forces guys for the military and people from BCG and McKinsey for consulting and et cetera, you wouldn't have that. Also, don't forget, your work is only one part of your application. It's a big part, don't get me wrong, but it's just one part. It's also, what were your extracurriculars? What are your test scores? What What is interesting about you? Long story short, just because you weren't on the team that killed Baghdadi, or you don't work in the top company in your industry, doesn't mean you're not gonna get it. Frankly, if you have a good GMAT score and a good narrative, that's huge. Anyway, it's like 8 p.m. here, so I'm gonna go ahead, spend some time with my girlfriend and roommate, and just kinda hang out. So, until next time, keep killing it. <laughs>